As corporate mergers go, a recent deal involving a local company, Wabtec Corporation, did not receive a whole lot of publicity. But it could have great implications when it comes to a Wilmerding-based firm whose history goes all the way back to 1869 when it was founded by George Westinghouse. Wabtec merging with GE Transportation in what is an $11 billion transaction. Wabtec could soon be a Fortune 500 company. What does a merger mean for its Wilmerding employees? And will the plant still manufacture technology-based products and services for freight rail, for passenger transit, for industrial, for markets worldwide. Ray Butler is president and CEO of Webtech Corporation, and we are pleased to have him here on the program. Ray, it's great to see you. Thank you, Rick. Glad it's that great you're to here. be here. First Thank of you. all, how in the world does a company that nobody's ever heard of become a Fortune 500 company? I mean, that's almost where we are right now. Yeah, I think uh, it's just this uh, great blessing that we're in a situation that we're in at this point in time. It's uh, our company, as you said, started 150 years ago next year. We've continued to uh, serve the transportation industry with the focus on safety, efficiency, productivity. We had the good fortune of working with GE Transportation for over a century. Make locomotive yeah. engines, they, so you know that sector very well. And they're in our home state, sure. uh, Grove City, Erie. So the relationships were already there. And, you know, the stars align. It gave us an opportunity to look at the opportunity to merge the two businesses because of what's going on at the corporate level, not at the individual business And that's the issue, level. is that this is available for a purchase by Wabtec because GE is spinning off transportation and some of the other the business arms right now, right? That's right, that's correct, right. that's exactly Would this have been available going. 10 years ago, 15 years ago? Uh, certainly not at this cost. I, I, I think you, uh, to, to second guess or speculate, uh, I don't know. I think it would have been very difficult. Right. First of all, we wouldn't have been able to uh, to do this. We because your company large wasn't large enough. Right. And also another merger, too, right? I mean, that was that right. a portion of, of a merger that happened with a French-based company here in the last couple of years. Yeah, I, I, I've been at WebTech 10 years. When I started, it was a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, El Newpaver put a growth strategy sure. in place. He's the one that hired me into the business. And because we were able to grow the business to three billion over over a 10 year period, and then we acquired Favalet, which took us to four billion, it gave us the mass to be able to do this. So what does this do? What does this do for Wilmerding? Somebody who is there, what does it do for Grove City or for Erie for the GE portion of things? Do we know yet? I, I think what it really does is it, it, it gives you at least the promise that we're going to be in business for another 150 years serving this industry. I think it allows people to feel secure in their, uh, in their positions and it allows us to really focus on uh, forward-looking initiatives to continue to improve our business. So in, in innovation, in technology, to be a worldwide leader in this industry. So it's, it's definitely good for Pittsburgh, it's definitely good for Pennsylvania, but it's good for the worldwide industry as a whole. We'll be the third, fourth largest uh, supplier in the world. Um, and, uh, and I say that in a very humble way because uh, you know, we, we, our focus is to serve our customers, to serve our uh, shareholders, and to try to continue to grow and improve our business day in and day out. That's what we're all about. Will it stay in a manufacturing segment? Will, will that yeah. be a portion of what you're doing? Absolutely. Engineering okay. and manufacturing is really the So that the doesn't change business. just because you're looking at adding the portions of GE Transportation? No, they're they're uh, they're also very engineering and manufacturing oriented business, and uh, that's why the fit is so well. And will it stay here? Yeah, we're uh, going to stay headquartered in Pittsburgh. We've already announced that. Uh, we're proud to do that. Um, you know, I grew up here. Uh, it's uh, it's really, as I said, a, a great blessing to be in a situation that we're in right now. What do you get from Pennsylvania workers? What do you get from Pittsburgh workers? Meaning, if you keep that, will you keep the production here as well? Will that stay here? Yeah, so we have six production facilities in this area. If you go from Pittsburgh to Erie, you have four or 5,000 employees that will be part of this company. What, what, what you get from, uh, I'm obviously very biased, but what you get from people in this area is you get an incredible work ethic. You get a great value system. You get really talented people. You know, you have a long history of engineering capability, 29 colleges here and the manufacturing expertise and the craftsmen that ex exists in this area that have uh, evolved over centuries uh, are a great asset to us. How amazing is it 
that two companies with 250, almost 300 years of experience are coming together like this. I mean, these are not just a big one swallowing up a small one. These are two giant companies coming together. How impressive is that, that that happens in this day and age? Yeah, I think it doesn't uh, happen very often, and I think that what we need to be sensitive to, and what I need to be sensitive to, is make sure that everyone understands there's an opportunity for each of them as individuals to contribute and add value every day. You know, again, our company's all about growth. We're not buying businesses to close them down. We want the people in WAPTEC to feel good about this. We also want the people in GE Transportation to feel good about it from the first day they come into the business. So. It, 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 I'm very excited about it, and uh, I think it represents a great future for us. Right. Does, does it give you a challenge of taking the corporate culture of GE and merging it with Wabtech, and at the same time, maybe learning from some of the things that they've done there to do it better at your place? GE G Transportation is a world-class company. They were uh, a great customer of ours, a big customer of ours. There's no question that we're going to be able to benchmark one another and to come up with better practices across the board, business practices, cultural practices, behavioral practices. So, yeah, we, we want to do exactly that, be very open-minded and look for those opportunities now while we can. I know that Grove City was talking about some changes with its GE facility. Erie's had some challenges. What does it mean for them? So I think, uh, you, you know, we've gone through a, a recession in the freight industry over the last couple of years. Um, so everyone has to adapt to that. GE was in the process of making uh, changes to be able to adapt to that. But the good news is the freight industry, because the economy is so strong, has come out of that recession. And we're headed uh, in the upturn now, uh, both of us, Webtech and, and, and GE. And so I think what it means to us is that we're going to be able to add uh, grow our business, not worry about reducing our business. Great news across the board. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you great Ray. to see you. Thank you. Ray Butler, talk, Butler talking to us about what's going on with Webtech. Used to be the old Westinghouse Air Brake, now working with GE Transportation. More of the Sunday Business page in just a couple of minutes. Keep it right here on KDKA.